Welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. Uh, today we're back at it again with the 390 Ford engine. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is installing some main bearings. And I'm going to show you how to properly do that. Um, there's going to be a bunch of little mini episodes in here to show you how to do a bunch of little things. Uh, this is the first one if you're staying kept up with the series. Um, I'll label them by parts. Um, but if you're looking for anything in particular, I'll put all the links down in the upcoming descriptions and the final description. Okay. Let's get to it. So what I mean by main bearings are these bearings here that I've already installed and they look just like this here and I'll give you a close up of that so they look just like this here. It's really good practice to uh, take a lint free paper towel and wipe out the inside of the bearing as well as the back side um, before installing it. They tend to put um, a little bit of uh, an oil lubricant on them so that way they don't collect any rust um, during transportation. So, And then what you'll notice is one side has a little ridge here and the other side doesn't and that little ridge will match up on the inside of the block as well as on the inside of the cap and I'll show you that now. So right here is that little ridge that I was talking about um, that matches the one on the bearing and then what you're going to do is you're going to um, on Chevy's um, they only have one hole so the other bearing that goes in the cap won't have a hole on it. Um, these ones however have a hole on both of them and what you want to do is you want to press those in there just like that and you want to press it on both sides and you want it to be flush on this side and flush on this side and then what I like to do is take my paper towel excuse my cold and go ahead and wipe that out now the center one has a little bit of a thrush um, surface here on this side and um, that's where most of the play will take place is, is right here on the inside so in my opinion this next step is pretty crucial um, you want to have some assembly lube obviously if you're putting together a uh, an engine and um, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and um, you want to coat these bearings um, so just put a little line in in each bearing it doesn't matter if it drops down into the um, cam area um, this stuff is supposed to go in your engine upon assembly and it will break down and degrade um, just like a oil additive so go ahead and, and do that and once you kind of got your little line on there then you could just take your finger and uh, just go ahead and rub that all over the surface just like that on all the bearings and on the thrush surfaces for that middle bearing and do the last one and don't forget to uh, put your um, rear uh, main seal in or at least the uh, lower half. And the way this is is you want to uh, set it up so you keep fluid in um, so the curved edge would go towards the inside and then you're just gonna slide that into place and kind of same thing as the bearing you just want to push it and uh, make sure that that is uh, flush on both sides. After you do that and you get your cam all wiped down and prepared you're going to gently line up your bearings and slowly lower the crank down into the bearings like that. Give it a little bit of a twist. You don't want to twist it too much because you don't want that rear seal to slide out. Just make sure everything turns nicely. And now we can continue on and put our caps on. So as the old saying goes, better safe than sorry, I like to wipe down my caps first just to be safe. And as you can see here, there's the ridge right there that we're going to connect our bearing into. So you just line that bearing up like that. And just like in the mains, you want to push that in flush on either side. 
And sometimes, not always, you want to keep these in order and you want to keep them in the right direction. This one here has an arrow so we can go ahead and know which direction that goes in there. And as I said, make sure that you wipe down these surfaces, just like that. Take your assembly lube and go ahead and put, oh, I guess it helps if you open up the cap. Go ahead and put some on there, like that. Set your assembly lube aside and rub that on just like so. And then get, make sure you're putting it in the right direction. And you just want to kind of set it on there. And um, then what I like to do is I like to take the bolts and I like to just kind of hand thread them down. Make sure that I got them going the right way. See there, it's not quite lined up just right, so just like that. And then take a rubber mallet and smack down on the bearing, just like that. And take the bolts out, and what I like to do is smack it, make sure that it's in place. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and spin these down, hand tight, just like that. And then you could go ahead and take your crank and make sure that everything turns. Now, I'm going to put the rest of these bearings in. I'm not going to videotape me putting every single bearing in. Um, but when you do this, what I like to do is I like to do the two outside, and then the two inside, and then the final inside one. Don't torque them down, just hand tight. And after you get each one in, turn the crank. Make sure that there's no binding or anything like that going on with this. And then once you get it all done, then you need to look up online um, the specific way to torque them. There will usually be a pattern like one, three, five, and so on and so forth. And it'll have you tighten them down in different weights sometimes. Sometimes it's just one final weight. And once you do that, then you're ready to do your pistons and that'll be in another episode. If you like this video and you would like to see more of this engine building type stuff, go ahead and tune in. Pretty soon I'm going to have another episode up. Um, probably be doing a couple episodes this week because I've got this project I'm working on, so I'll film as much as I can for you guys. And um, thanks for watching. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see, comment below. Uh -huh. <laughs>